Hello, everyone, and welcome. We are here in Studio 3 in Charlotte, North Carolina, coming to you live, brand new studio. So I hope you guys like what we've done with the place. Now, we have some special announcements today and also some special guests that are going to join me later. But Dash for Cash is back in the Xfinity Series, and 2018 were full of surprises, one being a new format. Dash for Cash returns to the NASCAR Xfinity Series this season. The pressure's on at four consecutive battles with drivers competing for the weekly prize of 100 grand. Drivers will shift into gear for this year's Dash for Cash at Bristol Motor Speedway, Richmond Raceway, Talladega Super Speedway, and Dover International Speedway. To qualify for the first event at Bristol, drivers must finish among the top four series regulars at Texas. The highest finisher among these four drivers at Bristol wins the 100 grand and will move on to defend their title the next week at Richmond. This format continues through the additional battles at Talladega and Dover. Don't miss out. The pressure is mounting. Tune in each week to find out which driver has what it takes to win Dash for Cash. Follow the action online at NASCAR.com forward slash Dash for Cash or on social using the hashtag Dash for Cash. Now, we think that this new format is going to bring a lot of exciting changes, and qualifying is coming up with this race this weekend in Texas. And speaking of qualifying, I found some special guys out in the hallway. Guys, how are we looking forward to this new Dash for Cash? I think it's great. You know, obviously, um, being in, the, in this series for a number of years, you know, this, this program, the Dash for Cash program, is something that's just, um, it's just incredible. You know, what they do for the teams, what they do for the drivers. Um, you know, obviously, this year, there's some new initiatives that go along with it. We'll talk about those in a minute, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, it's just a it's just a great program. It's something that we all look forward to as competitors. It's kind of a, a race within the race. And Daniel and I actually raced for one of these a couple of these last year. That's so exactly it was, right. uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we had a ton of fun with it. It always adds a different element. The, the feel in the garage, everything that goes into a Dash for Cash weekend, it just amps everything up. And uh, the competitors, that, you know, we like to tell each other we're not we're not thinking about it, but it, it's in the back of all our minds, and it just brings it, like I said, brings a weekend to a, a different element, and you know, adds some excitement for everybody involved. Now, the Xfinity series is all about names made here, and didn't do this before, <clears> but I'm going to introduce you guys, and you guys are pretty familiar with this Dash for Cash. So Justin Algar and Daniel Hemrick, you guys are past winners from this past season. Do you think that you have an advantage going into the 2018 Dash for Cash because you've won last year? I think we do in a roundabout way. Like I said, Justin's been in the series a good bit longer than I have, but I have experienced it, you know, with last year and then getting our Dash for Cash win at Bristol. And, uh, you know, you see a lot of guys take themselves out of position to run for the Dash for Cash. So, well, you know, with the format this year, the way it plays out for everybody involved, uh, I think it gives us both a little bit of a leg up on everybody. I think, too, it's interesting because, you know, I, I'm this, this format is, is a little bit more similar to kind of how it was introduced originally a, a number of years ago. So... I think that that changes a little bit because last year we had the uh, the qualifiers. I guess before you know we, we were able to qualify kind of on race weekend. This year, you know, with having obviously Texas be the qualifier race for Bristol, it's kind of unique, you know, in, in, in how it works and and how you kind of how you position your weekend. You know, Texas is one of those places that um, obviously isn't necessarily a strong point for everybody, but <laughs> other teams it, it may be a super strong point for. Uh, but then I feel like Bristol. Um, Daniel ran great last year at Bristol. We ran really well. Um, all of our junior motorsports sports team teammates ran really well there. So, you know, you're going to kind of have to be good on two two completely different style of racetracks. And I think that's the challenge that, that we're going to see with this new format. But the cool thing is, is that um, it does kind of, you know, allow you to look at kind of the future and say, okay, well, I need to run good here to, to be better here. And, and, I, and hopefully you can get into a rhythm and kind of hit those four in a row, uh, which, you know, last year we were <laughs> spread out over the whole, the right. whole season. So yeah. having four in a row will be a lot different. And then it doesn't just affect – the future of you guys, but it also affects the future of low-income households across the country and in race markets. So Comcast has added a new benefit this year and a new incentive for you guys to compete that they're going to donate a total of $40,000. Does that add an extra incentive for you guys to win and make sure that it's going well, to a good cause? Obviously, um, you know, the, the Comcast uh, Internet Essentials is what it's being called. And, you know, for us, uh, we were both raised in, in households where we had internet and, and I mean I remember having to wait quite a while and dial oh, yeah. up when it was a phone when it was a phone You've line got mail. Uh, yeah. but you know on the flip side of it you know the the initiative that they're putting together are adding a total of $40,000 um, and us racing for that money you know that's that's you know us helping to try to put money into uh, into low-income housing that's huge right. and and it, and it goes a step further too because who's to say that those kids don't understand where that money comes from they become NASCAR fans. Maybe one day they're drivers in the in the, in the sport, and they're competitors to one of us. 
that to me is, is super cool and something that would be a lot of fun. Oh, for sure. I think it's just so cool to know that Comcast for everything to do for our communities and to know that we're going to have an, an opportunity to have an impact on that. Um, from what I understand, the winner of the Dash for Cash races, that, that money is actually going to be donated in the winner's name. So that's really cool to know we're going to be able to help you know, lower income family, uh, housing families get internet and get you know, the, the support they need to, to keep their day to day lives going and hopefully allow them to tune into our races over the internet services and whatever else uh, they want to do with it. But uh, it's definitely a huge incentive to see Comcast take that next level to provide that. Now, I know you guys are always competitive in the garage, but does this add a little bit more of a little bit more back in your mojo trying to win these races? Well, I, I mean, last year we, we had a lot of fun with it. You know, it, when, it, when it came down to the time. Bragging rights are always fun. Uh, it, oh, yeah. it really it is, it is truly bragging rights. And, and like I said, we raced against each other for the championship. We raced each other for the Dash for Cash races. Um, and, and, you know, I feel like it, it's, it's funny. Right now there's, there's a lot of camaraderie within the garage. A lot of the drivers get along really well together. And that's not always been the case. You know, this sport is kind of built on, on rivalries, and, and there are some rivalries, but um, I feel like the guys that, and, and gals that get along really well right now, um, it, it's fun because a lot of us race together on a weekly basis. And so it kind of allows you to, um, I don't know, you, you don't, like, because you don't have a rival and your friends, you've you got to find <laughs> something to one-up somebody, you know, a little right. bit, you know, then have some fun with it. And so That's a great it, excuse for us. For right, sure. it's a great excuse to have something to kind of, you know, uh, you know, be a little bit extra and jab somebody with. So it's it, it's definitely fun. Now, Justin, I know that you got, correct me if I'm wrong, you got your first ever Xfinity win at Bristol, correct? Mm -hmm. I did. So are you excited that this is a Dash for Cash race and you get to go back to Bristol? I am, but uh, I didn't win that one last year. He, he won that <coughs> one exactly last year. Right. So, uh, you know, we, we had, uh, I don't remember exactly what happened in that race. I, I tried to block out all the bad ones, uh, but I do remember that I crashed in that race and that wasn't good. Uh, so I think your teammate got you. Yeah, I, oh. <laughs> I, 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 I was remembering that as I was talking about it. I, I, I was going to leave that alone. But uh, young William Byron and I got together, and uh, unfortunately it didn't end so well for me. But on the flip side of it, you know, Bristol's been one of those places that it's kind of been feast or famine for me. It's either really good or really bad. The spring race is a short race. You know, it's, uh, it's one of the shortest races really on, on our schedule, and it flies by. You know, it's, it's fun. It's fast. And I feel like as, as drivers, we want to go there and run well, and we want to, we, you know, we want to do well. But on the flip side of it, Bristol's kind of got its own, its own mojo, if you will. Yeah, I don't know. You, you kind of, you kind of at the mercy of whatever it gives sure. you. And then Daniel, as far as Talladega, this is the first year that Talladega has been on the Dash for Cash circuit. So are you excited to get back there? Anything can happen. I feel like. Oh at Talladega. my gosh, I'm definitely not the guy to talk to about super speedway racing. <laughs> I've. Uh, I thought I was going to make it to the end of. I was uh, just seeing what your mindset yeah, was. Yeah, oh yeah, no. I mean, the mindset's <laughs> always uh, just a little skeptical going there. But as far as the excitement element, oh my gosh, that's a totally different level. And um, the precedence of working with your teammates and finding people in the garage to work with you throughout that weekend is going to be at an all-time high. Um, but I think it's just cool to know that we have all these cool short tracks in Bristol and Richmond and Dover and you know all those places. Now we're going to go on the complete flip side of that and the mind, the mindset, the strategy, everything that's going to go into putting yourself in position, you know, to win that race and win that dash for cash, you know, it's, it's going to be unbelievable to see how everybody works together. And um, like I said, my, my super speedway racing hasn't been my strong suit in the past. So if I'm ever going to pick one to run good at, I hope it's that one. <laughs> yeah, right. Now, when you're in the car and it's dash for cash and you're racing these, are you asking the spotter, all right, where's Justin? All right, where's Daniel? How, how, how much do I have to? I, I pretty much know. Like, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm one of those people that I pay a lot of attention to what's going on around me, probably more so than I should. You know, that makes, I, I, that I, two of them. Yeah, <laughs> uh, my crew chief is always like, just just stop worrying about all the other things and just drive. Um, that, I think that's short track racing growing up. You know, like you learn so much about what's going on around you, and you have to kind of be mindful of who you're racing. And so I think uh, you know when when you get to this point, you know, for me, I just I kind of know where everybody's at, and I'm looking at the pylon or whatever. Uh, Bristol's hard though because you can't see the pylon, and you can't really see the other cars, and they took a. They took the number boards off the the grandstand, oh. so you really can't it see anything tough. anymore. But uh, it's still it's still a, a great time, a lot of fun. Now moving forward, Texas obviously is going to qualify to get you to that first round in Bristol. What do you do in Texas? Do you just run normal? Do you have any? <laughs> do we change? Do hey, we? I, so I had a meeting about an hour ago with my crew chief Danny Stock, and I said, Hey, I'm not sure if you know, but I really I need to run really <laughs> well at Texas. So you know we're having fun with it, like Justin was talking about. You know, not only is the camaraderie good, camaraderie good in the in the garage, but also back at the team that gives those guys, you know, to, it gives them the opportunity to be a little bit more detailed or just, you know, 
knowing the format, knowing that we've got to excel at Texas to have a shot to even run for a dash for cash the following week at Bristol, it's, it's, it's a lot on those guys' shoulders to prepare a race car, make sure every little thing is right, just like every week. Um, so it's, it's just something else that we can have fun with and know that um, you got to go there and have a solid day and um, any repave like Texas, you know, it's still racetrack still coming to us as drivers and as teams and changes a lot from practice throughout a race weekend. So uh, it's a lot of stress on everybody. I'm glad I'm not a crew chief in those situations. <laughs> right. and, uh, as drivers, we just got to go do our part and try to put our guys in contention and know we got a shot to race for it at Bristol. All right. Well, we're excited to see how you guys do and the next four races, we'll be keeping an eye out on you. But we have a nascar.com slash dash for cash. You can follow along with all of the excitement coming up over the next five weeks. You can also keep up on social media and tweet along with the guys and with all of the crews with using hashtag dash for cash. And we will see y'all in Texas.